What I'm going to do is you can put chapters into YouTube. So the actual cesarean, the actual surgery, we'll put in a chapter. So if people don't want to see it, a bit squeamish, don't watch this chapter, and then you'll see the end. Fingers crossed, the end works out well. I keep asking for a mullet. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> and then we've got new Lou here. Yeah. Hopefully, right. fingers crossed. I said that too early. Don't. This is the leg of the calf that Charlie yeah, just grabbed. Two there. feet. Two posts to push, maybe. Good. Morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and the odd occasion we do the Sunday video. Something's gone wrong today, not great. Charlie is here from Oak Hill. Explain it as we get on, you're about to see. So, what has happened today? Why is a bit of a disastrous ish morning? So, we've got Heather here just about to carve. She's a bit conditioned, wouldn't say she was major, major fat. Been in a carving box from last night. Six o'clock this morning, put my hand in, carved in the bag. No bother carving with it. Nine o'clock, feet were coming, so I thought, okay, we'll have a pull here. Tried to pull the calf out, was not moving. Rung my dad, and then dad was like, if you can't get it out, ring Oak Hill, rung Oak Hill. Charlie's come. We haven't seen Charlie before, but Charlie is here. Heidi's here as well. Uh, he put his hand in, he said the cervix is quite tight. Do you want to put an epidural in and try again? Or are you thinking just take it out the side? We had a bit of an umanar, but it's probably the hardest I've ever pulled a calf before, and I thought, Let's just get it out of the side. I think that's going to be more important. We're just going to waste more time. Charlie's checked in. The calf's still alive at the moment, which, fingers crossed, it stays alive. The most important thing is the cow, the calf, and hopefully we can get it out. So this is the process of a cesarean on a cow. I think we've only had like two or three here since I've been here. I've been here since... No pressure. Yeah, so I've been... <laughs> Heidi's not the same one. Charlie was like, should we ring Susie or do you want one of his scrub in? Heidi put her hands up straight away and was like, she will scrub and she, this is a definite learning day for her, uh, learning day for me as well. You've rung Susie, haven't you, Charles? Yeah, that's right. Do yeah. you mind the Charles? Uh, no. No, <laughs> Charles was good. Susie is on her way as well. So we have two and a half vets. We have Heidi, who's nearly vet. We have two vets. So she's got the best care as it is. So Charlie's going to show us how to do this. I'm going to ask loads of questions because it's new to me. Do you want to yeah. do everything in there first? Like, uh, I was thinking yeah, shaver I'll, and all. We'll block her up in there, yeah. Yeah. Is it where we go? I'll be able to get through to the side, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think you're better here than you would be over there. It's been like Caesar season, I think, at the moment. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's it. You had loads of them? Well, you had one two days ago. Yes, yeah, like Susie and Andrew did eight on call on a weekend. Wow. Like uh, two weekends ago, so. Yeah, no, it's been proper, proper hectic. So you'll be good at it then? <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking for these ropes? Keep them on? I uh, might as well take them off, but it's no rush. I'll just let my dad know what I'm doing as well. So you can see that the feet are here. Didn't feel any different to me. I could put my hand around, um, but Charlie put his hand in straight away. He knows a lot more than me and just went, cervix is tight. That's, it's up to you. And I think, I like to think I've made the right decision, save time and try and get this done. So we're going to try and do a paravertebral block. So it blocks the nerves as they come out of the spinal cord. See, the idea is you block a hole band all the way down is a desmosome when you say up. block you mean numb it so yeah sorry yeah yeah numb it <laughs> i'm just trying um, to talk in layman's terms obviously <laughs> you know what you're doing yeah <laughs> i'm just going to pop a little bit of bleb under the skin of local sometimes they get a little bit painful when you stick a big needle in so i'm just going to put a few more under the skin there bit of cow comfort yeah exactly yeah and then we'll get the big needle out let's put his hand in it's his cervix is really tight could try an epidural but i've just said to get it out the side because i tried so hard this morning so it's getting out it's coming outside just to let you know yeah you, you want to get t13 so thoracic vertebrae 13 count forward from here five four there's a little one there so i'm going to go in front of there behind there and behind there that should block everything there i'm not feeling anything you can see that she's pushing the calf out still because obviously she's contracting and wants that calf out but her cervix is just not opening like i say this is the first one since heidi's been here i don't think we've done one for about three or four years or something like maybe could be even longer i can't even remember i can feel it pop and you see it all the locals sucked in yeah so you know you're in the abdomen so you want to pull out a little bit more so you don't get any sucking in and then put the rest of your local in and then that's sort of on the the level of all the nerves i think most of the time like, i give them in in the muscle but because i want to get in yeah. um i'd rather it get nice and relaxed first but you try and relax and okay so yeah so it just makes 
Like you sometimes do it with difficult carvings anyway, uh, but it just makes getting the uterus out and everything with a cesarean a lot easier. My girlfriend cut my hair with these at the start of lockdown. Oh, did she? <laughs> it went so badly that I just haven't got to do it. She's now why my hair's like an absolute shambles. <laughs> Have you, do you want to play this game? Yeah. No, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, I keep asking for a mullet. And so do I. I'm just like, oh, I really want a mullet. <laughs> so uh, or, or a mohawk or something. Yeah. Like, Go back to the uni days. <laughs> so do I. I really want a mullet. I think it'd be cool. Like it's not gonna. It's it's gonna be till like when we get out of lockdown. I'll get normal hair again. But you know what I mean? Yeah, no, exactly. Like, or um, get a Jonah Lomu where you just got a piece here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Need that. That is the hoodie I took off when we were carving, trying to carve this morning. I only tried for about five or ten minutes. By the time you know, yeah, as you were running around, it was just like this is, this is not right. Yeah. Just giving her a like 15 minute metacam on the skin. Metacam, pain relief and some anti-inflammatory. Chilled out to the max. Cheers, guys. She's definitely more steady than she was. Yeah. If she starts kicking. Oh, it's all good. I'm shackle her up and then... Uh... Come on, girl. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two... Well, let's leave it there. Yeah. I'll crack on. In here now, she was a lot more chilled than she was. She was getting a bit stressed before, um, which is great. You can see where they've injected her. They, Charlie. Oh, if you did find this video quite interesting, quite like it, give it a thumbs up. Helps the YouTube algorithm. I don't know if it does help. I don't know how it works, but apparently it does. So that'd be great. What are we doing here, Charlie? Uh, so it's just some heavy scrub. So. It's gonna help, well, hopefully it's gonna clean her up and make it nice and sterile. Some surgical spirit on after this. It's not exactly uh, a hospital, but it's the best we can do, really. It's the same stuff they use in hospitals. There, if that's all right. Yeah. And then we'll try and bring the calf out this way. Anyone remember Lou from the other week? She's just chilling. So we've got Lou there, and then we've got new Lou here, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Said that too early. Cool. You need Heidi to do anything before. Yeah. You can have a coat if you want. Oh yes, please. If I pull it up, cut it. I get Heidi to hold the uterus with me, and then probably get you to grab the leg. If that's all right. If I give you two legs. Yeah, yeah it's fine. You might just have to put the camera. Put the camera down. I don't know what you're talking about here. Yeah. Just be for the like two minutes. You need. I think. Yeah. I think sometimes some stuff is more important than videoing. Uh, yeah. The odd occasion. You mind just giving that a squirt? Yeah, yeah. A bit like a vet nurse. Doing a good job here. Glamorous assistant. Yeah, I'm glamorous assistant. I like okay. it. It's a plan. Hopefully. Oh, if you if you squeamish, look away now. She's blocked up well anyway. Blocked up well, you mean? So as in she's not feeling anything. Like my local anaesthetic, like should be ooh, should be kicking. So what are you cutting through there? So this is just some sort of fat. Um, Would you say she was over fat? She's not too bad, is she? No, like she's probably I a three and a half. I don't think she's over fat. Yeah, and this is her first, first muscle yeah. layer. Pushing on there is crazy. Yeah. What's fascinating is the upset. amount of layers. Yeah. I know you, you're used to this completely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, yeah the amount of layers going on. Definitely, yeah. Well, same as us. Yeah, well, I, I don't even know. I've never, <laughs> like, yeah, no. <laughs> I've never wanted not, to find out. Yeah. Heidi's just scrubbing up. Is his first time you've ever scrubbing up on some heights? It's pretty cool, isn't it? I've gone through first muscle layer, second yeah. muscle layer. There's a thin third one and we get to peritoneum. So abdomen, sort of membrane. And then this is peritoneum, yeah. just really thin. And you get rumen just here. So you definitely don't want to mistake that for rumen and cut into it or cut too deep. So we have to be like pretty careful. Yeah. So try and get a good bite of it. Take it quite a long way outside from everything else and make a little nick. And then you'll hear that, that suck. So it goes like. Yeah. Yeah. So you know you're in the right spot. Can't give ourselves plenty of room. Is there anything I can do here, Joe? I don't know, we'll see. It's been very good. Yeah, I know. Try and grab a back leg, a hot no, I'll take whatever I can get. This is the leg of the calf that Charlie yeah, just grabbed. Two there. feet. I don't think it's twins. Shouldn't be. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't feel two in there, but we'll see. Still pulling on me, I think, so hopefully we're in business. Grab this if that's all right. Yeah. Or between, me? The two, between the two. Another one just there. You know what you want to do? Yeah, no, that's perfect. Yeah. We'll just lift up gradually. If it's not coming, I'll just cut a bit longer. Yep. Alright, Hardy, I'll get you to grab it. So, 
I get in there. We're alive. alive. Brilliant. We are alive, people. Bit of straw in its nose. Look at it. Grab those scissors. No way. Heifer calf. Uh, black and white. Uh, Angus. Angus, right. But we've had, they've been carving well. Have you found anything else? Another calf are out? No. I haven't tried yet. Just cutting off some of the like cleansing. Well done, hides getting stuck in. Yeah, expect hide. nothing else. Oh, a little rummage around, but feels pretty empty in it. Yeah, so you think you've got it? <laughs> yeah. So these, what have you got there? These Charlie? are the cotyledons. So they're our, they're like cow's placenta. So instead of one big circular thing like us, we've got little, loads of little bits. So they supply like blood supply and oxygen and everything to the, to the calf. On these you get, they're called caruncles and cotyledons. So they like, there's one bit inside the other. So you get one on the uterus and one on the cleansing. So the cotyledon that you see comes away. Or well, the mum drives the car, the car, the baby has the cot. Right, so okay. it's caruncle cotyledon. <laughs> <laughs> so something so. This is gonna go over a lot of people's hands, Charlie. And now what is the job with the cow? We've got to stitch it back up. Yeah. The idea. I won't say it's the biggest in the world, but it's big enough. It's breathing, it's doing. Sit him up on his chest. Yes. Can do. Elbows underneath him. Elbows underneath him like that? Yeah, both elbows and then back legs underneath like a frog. Yeah. So his pelvis is square. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So like that, yeah? Yeah, 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 perfect. It just means the lungs have less pressure on them. I still would think this heifer would carve that. Fine side, isn't it? Like you think, oh, maybe we could have got that out. Oh, oh, it's better. This is yeah, the best yeah. outcome, you know? I was just saying there, like I've carved bigger carbs. Maybe I, not our heifers and stuff, but you think she'd have carved it. Obviously, she's just not one of those ones that too posh to push, maybe. But the main thing is the calves out. Charlie said we could have tried to pull it again. But imagine if we tried to pull it, didn't get out. Then we did the cesarean, and then the calf wasn't live. So grand schemes of things, you know, this is currently the best outcome. We just need to make sure the heifer's going to be okay in the next couple of weeks. Make sure she's pushing on, because obviously this is a pretty serious surgery, like any C-section for a woman. It's pretty, pretty serious. So uh, we've got to make sure she's getting top uh, care for. We've got all range of seasons recently, so I'll take that. Happy with that? Yeah, definitely. Wow, you can, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but like, you can see oh, right in there. <laughs> yeah, There's a big old gap now. Oh, Calf seems to be doing really well. Yep. <laughs> Something else that I've just learned right now is to open this air waves. You put the back legs like frog spawn, front legs, elbows underneath, tucked in like that. Just opens it up, lets it breathe better. Uh, Charlie, just let me know then, so. That's good. So what are you doing there, Charles? Just, uh, yeah, so I'm just stitching up, so it's oh, not, nice. basically that's just uterus. I'll probably put a second layer in. There's a, a little patch in the middle that's just not quite as tight. This is a precaution. Uh, yeah, I've sort of got braces again, like, while I'm here, I might as well. <laughs> like, sometimes if I'm really happy with it and it's really tight, then it's okay. Just do one layer. I think a lot of people do just do one layer, but I'm slightly paranoid. I think it makes me <laughs> sleep easier at night. Right, what should we name the heifer calf? Oh. It's trying to get up, which is amazing. What's your girlfriend called? Clemmy. Clemmy. Like, Clemmy. Cle like Clementine, yeah. Clem. That's cute. Clem. Clemmy. You can call it Clem if you want. Call yeah. it Clem. So uh, obviously this is the first time Charles has been here. Charlie, Charles. And uh, his girlfriend's called Clemmy. So we have now a Clemmy. Why do we call our calves and animals names? Just because we like them. And that's what we do here. What are you can do by it? We've just got names of it. The hardest thing is remembering them. You should really put ear tags in them, like Lou. Uh, Rosie needs one. Let's see. I told you. Um, fingers crossed she does all right. I might just spray a navel though, because I'm just stood here looking pretty. Good. Not really doing a lot. When a cow has had a cesarean, how will she be for further pregnancies? Like, should be fine. Keep an eye on, they'll just calve. Yeah, she'll she be should be fine. So it obviously depends on why she's had a cesarean. Yeah. So if it's if she's got a narrow pelvis or something, it's most likely like next year. I know if she's a heifer, it's pretty, hopefully she should be fine, but yeah. it's something you just gotta watch, put an easy breeding pod on it. Right, we pop this back in. Right, do that. It's just sterile, it's like, yeah, salt solution. Solution to pollution is dilution. So any bugs flying around in there, the more fluid and everything, and we get them out. Wash it out. Yeah, it sort of dilutes the number down. That's the idea. Yeah, go on, and again. So I'll do three layer closure. On top of the painkillers and the local anaesthetic, what we're giving her is some antibiotics as well, because obviously this isn't a, isn't a theater. So 
We're as clean as we can do. These guys are obviously set up. I'm touching as little as possible. There could be some muck that's gonna go into there. So uh, give us some antibiotics to make sure if she does have anything, she's on top of it. Cause obviously this is a serious operation for a heifer. Done really well, which is amazing. Charlie and Heidi have absolutely smashed it. Uh, whilst we're here, Charlie, your mum and dad sell wool. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we sell wool on Etsy. So we've got a website and some social media pages. So what sheep you got? Uh, they're Wensleydales and Zwarbles. Both pedigrees, like they're fairly small. But yeah, we're Chilton, Wensleydales and Chilton with an O-N, uh, Zwarbles. Well, I'm going to get the link anyway, because we were chatting about it before when we were just putting the uh, local in. And he was talking about he does a little bit of social media stuff, obviously, because I do. And I was like, I'm going to put it in the description. Charlie and the fam, they sell their own wool online. There is his website, so you can check that if you want anything. Mine and my farm stay as well, like a and d Oh, have they? Yeah. So they've got everything. So you can check them out. I just thought, obviously, Charlie's been nice to be on camera with me. People, when they are on camera, it is amazing, because it is quite, I don't know what's the word, it's quite, I want to say annoying being on camera. And when people say they will do, it's amazing. So big thanks to Charles. Good check him out his website here we're gonna finish her up make sure Clemmy is doing well and wrap the video up and now she comes the superstar that is Zeus after all, yeah. after all the hard work still. Yeah. 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 Well, well. yeah it came out all right me. yeah got me it got named Clem <laughs> she's gonna be over the moon yeah. yeah look at that look how smooth that is that looks that looks ace last ones now we're just gonna tidy it up all together job done Second, all my sorrows melt away. As if we just smile, we can forget all of our troubles for a while. I've left you a little interruptive one at the bottom. So okay, she needs. Mean? Just means that if she has a bit of an infection or anything, uh, which sometimes happens, and there's a bit of pus or anything underneath this, you can cut that you one. You can cut this bottom and one can and not it. have the whole thing under. Basically. Okay, amazing. Look how neat that is. Very tidy job. Is it clean? That is her done. Big thank you to Charlie again for being on film. Really do appreciate it. Hides on her first job. Smashed it as well. Sue's supervising and the ginger just telling people how to do. It's to see you galvanize the wound. Make it last a little bit longer. That was tidy as anything silver spray on there. What we're gonna do now is just milk in a bucket while she's tied up. Bag clemmy so she's got that colostrum. Hopefully they don't get kicked in the face, but you know, it'll only improve things. We are normally about two weeks behind on videos. We had a video for today. But what I'm gonna do is because we had Lou, and that was a couple of weeks ago, I think let's have the week of the calf. The year of the cow, week of the calf. So this video is gonna come out straight away. So if you see a video next week, it's a little bit behind just because of the way we'd like to do things. And Heidi said she'd like to post by on Instagram, so check her Instagram for that. Right, get a milk, get a bag, and make sure Clemmy is doing all right. Great result, Charlie. Well happy with that. And again, thank you very much for being on film. Well, that's three liters out there. I've done well. I wanted to get a little bit more just because uh, Clemmy is massive, so she will take it. Boom. Nice full top. And like we did last time, and, uh, well, this way, right? down the left hand side. I've got a little bit of a gauge there. This is gonna be thick. We could be here a while. You can just see it coming down. This is thick, good claustrum. The last little bit, Clemmy is full. Clem's good, full of claustrum, three liters this time, amazing. And uh, 64, I think she's gonna be 64. Just put some buckets of water with her. Hopefully she'll be A-OK. -okay. If not, we'll have to we'll have to drench her. Which we know how to do now. <laughs> so that is the end of today's video. Our heifer number 64 now has just carved. Clemmy is living. Charlie did an amazing job. Big team effort. Heidi got hands in for the first time. Like I say, we don't see this very often, so I thought, why not put the two together and have a calf week? Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That'd be really, really cool. Subscribe to YouTube channel. The TP merch has just gone a little bit of a restock today at Tom Pemberton Dash farmlife.co.uk. Big restock in March of loads of new products as well. Loads going on. Cars full of colostrum, doing well. Mum's doing well. Had the best care possible. Oak Hill have smashed it again. See ya, bye.